forms. HTML forms basically contains all type of input elements but in this video I am going to discuss about input elements like text fields, checkboxes, radio buttons and submit button. So let's begin our code. To start a form you have to write the tag called formed form and to end it slash form. So at first I will show you how to write the code for text fields. First name is a text field which is available in, in every registration form. So to write that we have to do input type and we have to write the type as text. Give it a name as your wish. I am going to give it a name first name. We are for a line break and then I'm going to write last name. It's also a text field so I will write input type text and I will give it a name last name. So we have created two text fields one is first name and another one is last name so let's create a password field for our user password and for password the input type is password give it a name So we have already discussed about input type text and its input type password. So save the document and let's see how it looks like in our web browser. Refresh the browser, you can see you have three input box. One is for first name, it's working fine. One is for last name, it's also working fine. And the password field, I'm going to write something and you can see in password field whatever you are going to write it's not visible so these three fields are working perfectly now I will show you how to write the code for radio buttons so I'm going to write a default text are you male or female so I will create two radio buttons so that user can choose either of them input type for radio buttons you have to write radio give it a name and the value is mail and another one is female so I'm just going to copy my code here paste it and then change where it is necessary female and the value is female okay I have created two radio buttons and save the file and let's see how it looks like now. Refresh the browser. You can see you have two radio buttons one is male or another one is female. If you choose male you cannot choose female and if you choose female you cannot choose male. It's obvious isn't it? So now discuss about checkboxes. So I am going to write a default text check the languages you know for check boxes you have to write input type check box give it a name 
I am giving it language give it a value in my case okay HTML HTML so I am going to copy the code and going to paste it twice so that I can show you some language option here PHP I'm just changing where it is necessary I hope you can understand that C C okay I created three checkbox and save the document and let's see how it looks like refresh your browser now you can see you have three checkboxes and you can choose every one of them or you can uncheck them too so at last I'm going to discuss about submit buttons submit buttons is very simple it is input type submit and the value is submit this is all about our HTML forms let's see how it looks like yeah so we have a first name text field last name password we have some radio buttons and check boxes and at last we have a submit button but obviously uh, HTML forms are used to pass data to a server but our registration form or our form won't do that that means if you hit the bu submit button then nothing will actually happen in order to insert the user information which a user will provide you in your HTML form you have to use some kind of server based language like uh, PHP to do that uh, actually I'm not going to discuss about that in this video I will show you how to do that later so keep in touch that's all for this HTML form tutorial. Thank you.